Hi everyone and welcome to Dr. Love and AskDrLove.com. I'm Dr. Jamie Turndor and this is my column number two for the week of August 16th. It's in the relationship category and it's entitled, he says, the relationship has become complacent. Dear Dr. Love, I've been in a long-term committed relationship for eight years, since I was 15 and he's 16. Needless to say, neither of us had any meaningful past experience and we've never been apart. We'd lived together full-time for four years when we decided it would be best for him to move across the country to be with his friends and find work as he was unemployed here. Everything was running smoothly. I went and saw him for three weeks at Christmas. He came home for four months, February through May, while he was laid off. And he has now only been gone for just over two months. The only difference between this leave and the last is that he is now living with his best friend who just got out of a long-term relationship. Out of the blue, about two weeks ago, I noticed him starting to become distant, not wanting to talk to me on the phone. Finally, a week ago, I confronted him about this. I knew something was up, and he said that I could do better, and that he had just been thinking that our relationship had gotten complacent, that he wanted me to think about it for a few days, and then we would talk so that we wouldn't argue. Two days later, he still wouldn't talk to me on the phone, but I forced some answers out of him via text. He said he loved me very much, but wasn't sure if he was still in love with me. I asked him if he wanted to break up, and he said he thought so. That it didn't mean that things wouldn't work out for us in the end, but for right now, it was probably for the best. That he valued me as a friend, and he would always be friends, but just didn't know to what extent we would be together in the future. He cannot call me. He says he's not ready. The next day we talked for over an hour on MSN. I had a gut feeling that there was someone else and asked him to be 100% honest with me. He said that yes, there was someone else. She was two years older than him and that he had just met her a few weeks ago and had been speaking with her about her own relationship and her feeling complacent and that he thought it paralleled our relationship. She then left her boyfriend and slept with mine a week ago knowing full well about me. He told me he might be in love with her. I asked him if he didn't want to try to work things out between us, and he said he did, but not right now. My question is this. Can he really move on so fast and be in love with someone else, while at the same time not being over me? Or is he just confused because of the distance and the potential of something new and different, having not experienced that before? Can you fool yourself into being in love to justify your indiscretion? Or is he just trying to spare my feelings and keep me from moving on? by giving me hope. Thanks. I'm very sorry to hear what you're going through. This guy is really, really confused. And it seems to me that this woman was a catalyst. Her talking about complacency in her relationship sparked him to begin thinking about what wasn't working in your relationship. Now, she wouldn't have been a catalyst if he wasn't already upset, if he didn't already feel that something was missing. So um, what I think you need to do is I think you need to talk to him from a very different perspective. Not trying to get him back. He shouldn't feel any pressure whatsoever. He should just know that you want to talk with the purpose of understanding what went wrong. When he feels you're not putting pressure on him, he should be much more comfortable to talk to you freely. Now I would tell him that he needs to understand that complacency is a big smoke screen. It's a cover for angry feelings that have gone underground. And when couples don't become aware of their angry feelings, talk about them and work them through, it creates a generalized deadening of the relationship climate, uh, just a dead complacent feeling. So I would tell him that I think more than complacent, he must have been mad at you about something. And you wanna hear how you failed him in the relationship. Get him to talk. And you'll be amazed to discover that when negative feelings are, come, are brought to the surface, they act as a love potion. So oftentimes the love that was being eclipsed by the angry feelings can shine through again. Now, that's your best shot at getting him back. Let's say, because he hasn't played the field, that he needs to give himself the opportunity to run this affair and just prove to himself that you're right to him. Before he settles down, at least he can't say he never was with another woman. And there's a good chance that if he just has this affair, he will come back to you, especially if you've helped him work through whatever angry feelings were causing him to be unsettled in the relationship.
So I wish you the best of luck. Please let me know how your talk goes and take care.